today in Minneapolis and I am excited to make some fun sounds with the Mood Mark II. Where did I put my glasses? <laughs> oh, there's my glasses. a very innate ability to make things sound beautiful. I love how it interacts with the voice. I love what spread does to, to give so much motion um, and just a sense of abandon and sort of expanse. generally have the modify pretty high so it's a very diffused sound um, somewhere like around 12 o'clock on the left side um, and I usually start by singing a tone and if I'm feeling really fancy I'll just go ahead and build a drone by going up and down on the clock super handy so I think it's nice when I have it around like one o'clock and and so I'll transfer that over to the micro loop side so that's a really nice starting place to open and then uh, I usually have this in latch mode, so I'll start using the right side of micro looper sort of as a, um, a delay of sorts. latch mode and overdub in the Mark II um, and every micro loop mode has its own like super cool flavor. <laughs> so um, I'm going to start with tape mode because I've been living there for a while. mode and the micro loop channel used as a delay of sorts um, 
So moving through forwards and backwards delays in different octaves, and then the ability to kind of create uh, moments of like motion through scrolling through the length knob. So now moving into envelope mode. The grass is snippets and shuffling them around my head to just more expensive moments of normal delay, I suppose. When I'm in envelope mode, uh, it's fun to go into the wet channel too, but sometimes I feel like the effect is a little bit cleaner and more obvious when I am have this middle thingy to the left, so I'm only reverbing my input rather than the wet channel. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, last move. I have had a mood mark one since, I don't know, I guess three or four, three years ago. And I never used stretch until really recently. I started using stretch this month and I am so excited. I haven't heard of a lot of delays where you have a the tone at pitch that's slowed down. With words, I think that is really spooky and kind of this unusual flavor. I like to try to catch myself from earlier uh, and harmonize with that uh, and you can do little things like that um, maybe what I'm looking for is a lot of times I mean I'm, I am creating modulation right by moving the knobs and I always feel like I am looking for a sense of movement in the loops and the singing um, yeah. A lot of my improvs tend to get really drony, uh, so I've been playing with ramp to bring a sense of rhythm into my improvs. the same sort of 
pad or the sound for a long time, I start to look for variety. I had admittedly not gotten super deep with ramping and uh, I was looking for solutions in other pedals. I was very uh, excited, I guess, to realize that there is solutions within the pedal itself. I don't think I'm the only person in that where I think a lot of people think of mood as a uh, creator of ambience. And um, it's really neat that there's actually options to bring time and rhythm built into it as well. I have to consult my notes because I actually, this is a saved patch. I'm ramping the wet channel reverb time. So I could probably do this. It would sound on its own sort of like this. So I thought that sounds super cool. So I thought I can achieve that. Bouncing the time knob on the reverb. And to me that sounds like a kick, snare, kick. I typically like to have latch on, uh, but here I have it off latch because when I have it on momentary, I can capture like really intense moments of the reverb where there's a lot of sound and then kind of fill in the spaces in between phrases with this like white, more intense white noisy sweep. So. so Etc. Etc. What helped me get into ramping a lot was realizing that um, sometimes when you turn on the dip switches, you don't hear the effect immediately, or it's kind of confusing where it went. Um, so when you bring the ramp knob down really close to zero, the motion is very obvious. Uh, so that actually helped me get into um, dip switches a little bit. places that you can go with the mood and I think that's something that I really respect about all of like all of the Chase Bliss pedals that I have. They truly are instruments. Um, they're in their own right. Everyone plays them really differently. It's not simply that you hit a switch and everyone's kind of looking for the same sound in them. I love being surprised uh, and I love being inspired. Uh, I, I, you know, I'll, I'll hit something and I'll make a sound or I'll hit a setting and there's so many moments where I think, oh, that's a song. Uh, and I think there were a couple moments, <laughs> like today when we were working, where we were just like, oh, that sounds like, that sounds like a song. That sounds like the beginning of something. And that's really powerful. It's a powerful tool to have in your, in your little pocket. That's how you feel good. Okay. <laughs>